Kimberly, how are you? How are you doing? Um, God bless you. You know what? I have just been having so many miracles happen to me in the last last week, last couple of days. Today, it's so awesome. I am so thankful for being alive today. Um, <clears throat> The video I made, the videos, you know, three videos I made, it's, that was me. But now I feel honestly like I'm, I've been changed again, um, just right now. Um, it's crazy. I, I threw away my ring that I had around my necklace, around me. And the reason why is I, it finally came to me that that would right there was just an object I was using. Um, I believe for the longest time that that ring, um, it was even a joke, inside of it said Baldwin's V ring. And for the longest I felt as if that ring I was going to give to the girl, the first girl I have sex with. And it was going to be something to basically kind of motivate me into having sex. And I didn't realize that until a couple of minutes ago how wrong I was and how evil that was of me and selfish. I threw it away. And I threw away the chain it came with, the bracelet, because I honestly feel that that was a part of that, the reminder. And here I am. I just had this huge revelation. It was so hard to me to let go of everything. I was at the foot of my bed, my bed, and I was praying hard. I was like saying, Father, if it would make me lonely for the rest of my life, and you have to think about this, to be lonely the rest of your life, to never ever have felt love, to never ask for love, never be loved, and I'm thinking to myself, I, I, if it would make me the loneliest guy in the world, if it would make me never have a wife, never have kids, Never have anything that I've always this now now it's taken to my perspective. This is the thing that I've been praying for for a long time to have a wife, to have kids, to be loved. I've been praying for all that. For me, just to give it away would be the hardest possible thing I could ever do, and it was hard for me. I could not tell myself that I wanted to give that away, and I. I didn't want to do that, but I tried so hard, and I, I said, you know what, if there's a little bit of faith in me, that this could make make it happen, make it work, just to make me happy again. If it would make me happy again, I surrender. I surrender it all to you. I surrender my virginity. I surrender my loneliness. I surrender me possibly getting a wife. I surrender me giving possibly getting a girlfriend. I surrender all of that. All my pain, all my remorse, all everything I've ever had in the past, everything that I've ever strived for that's pushed me on, motivated me to make me not kill myself because I've always wanted to say, if I can just last for another day, hopefully I can see my wife. If I, I, I surrender giving that up with the possibility of being lonely for the rest of my life, being alone and never have a natural wife or anything to ever love me ever again, to be not have any friends, I surrender it all, if it would make me happy again, and if it would be to bless you, uh, Father, I give that all, oh, excuse me, Woo. meaning something, immediately, I had this revelation, and if I, I finally figured out that that ring was just evil, and that ring was just me, trying to have sex with another, uh, uh, with a, a, a woman, and that's me thinking about myself, me being the Christian that I am, uh, experiencing the stuff I've experienced just in the past couple of days alone has been a miracle, I, I don't know how it happened, I've come to, uh, at one point I was actually crying Thinking God left my presence, but but it never happened. Um, I've finally come to realization. I've accepted this completely, one hundred percent. That only if Father God chooses for me 
to have somebody that happened, but I, I'm not gonna try anymore. And I've decided, I, first I had this mad thing, get rid of all uh, pornography and everything. I'm, I'm going. To, I, uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna sound weird and all, but I, I'm, I'm quitting masturbation completely because until I actually get married, if I get married, I'm quitting it completely because I know that's bad. In my, in my own opinion, uh, I honestly don't feel anything good out of it unless, of course, you're in a marriage relationship and you're thinking about your wife, your spouse. Um, it's not, it's supposed to be evil and I'm going to believe that. And I'm an alcoholic. I'm doing one day at a time. If I can last one day without having a drink, then... I can last forever. If I can last one day without looking at a woman with lust, then there's a possibility I can last forever. So, saying that, I honestly believe that I, I, I don't need help. I don't need to find out if I'm normal. I don't need to find out if I belong to society. I honestly believe right now that I found myself. I finally did. I'm happy. I'm finally happy. The burdens in my heart that have affected me for so long, just tonight, have been relieved. And I'm happy. I'm happy once again. Because I surrendered it all. Every single little thing. And it was really hard for me. But I did. And I feel so much better. I feel so much more happier now. I'm glad I did it. Um, so, I still love you, Kimberly, you, but you don't have to answer my message anymore if you don't want to. Uh, I've finally come to the fact that this is the lifelong, uh, thing that I'm going to be doing. And, unless, of course, Father God tells me otherwise, I'm not going to change my path. Uh, I'm happy being the person that I am today, and I'm happy being alive today feel really blessed and I feel it's a miracle that it happened right now I'm so happy for the first time in my life I feel so happy and there's no not a single burden in my heart which I've been feeling forever no psychological abuse feeling at all I feel so loved right now just just for doing the stuff that I did I threw everything away in the trash everything all my bad DVDs and I even had a penis pump. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest, okay? A penis pump, trying to you know get larger. But you know what? I'm throwing that away too. I threw that away, ninety dollars down the drain, because I know that that's me before. Now this is the new me. I'm so happy. I'm very happy that you. Uh, I feel very blessed that you came into my life, and uh, just being there for. For me, even though you didn't respond back yet, me being able to just like say this, talk to somebody, because I felt I, I could not talk to anybody really about any of this stuff, and maybe coming into terms with that, you just being an outlet, even though you're not saying anything, was sufficient enough for me. And I, I feel so blessed that uh, <clears throat> I could have you in my life, uh, even though you're just a video, <laughs> you know, you're somebody, and I, I, I'm, I'm very very happy that you uh, you came into this world to uh, make these videos to give me a bit of hope that um, I don't know maybe uh, Father God will reveal that to me but I'm a much better stronger Christian than I was before and I thank you for that and uh, God bless you and uh, this account will be done and over with my other videos are going to be taken down, except on Rever. If you ever want to catch me, my diary series, um, I'll post a video. I mean, I'll post the link on this one. I'll keep this video up for a couple of days, about a week. And I'll take down my other videos. And if you want to go see my diary series and how it unfolds and stuff, that's cool. If not, that's cool too. Um... But I just want to say, 
Kimberly, I love you. Thank you for being a part of my life, even though I never met you. <laughs> you were always really cool um, from the very get-go, and I love you for that. So, God bless you, and I wish you the best. I'm now happy and feeling very blessed, and miracles do happen, even to the lonely like myself, and psychologically abused. I, I'm not thinking about that. Uh, I feel so happy now. So. Um, I thank you for everything. I love you, Kimberly, and you take care of yourself.